Okay, so I showed you uh, on my first video the, uh, the basic Peltier device, and here it is again. So uh, we've got a small heat sink which was uh, planned to be for the inside, and a large heat sink for the outside, and there's the uh, Peltier device in between. Now, um, the closeness of the uh, the cold heat sink and the hot heat sink causes a slight uh, problem with this design in that our um, walls are 100 millimeters or uh, four inches thick so you can see to uh, to have that cold heat sink on the inside and the hot one on the outside is a bit of a challenge for us um, there's also another um, if you like design um, fault inherent with this sort of design in that uh, when the um, the Peltier is turned off you get a sort of thermal bridging in that the uh, the warm heat sink outside will um, heat the Peltier device and transmit through and heat the um, heat the inside of the cool box so uh, the way to avoid that is to uh, create some sort of thermal bridge between the hot heat sink and the cold heat sink and uh, now I'm about to show you my solution for that Okay, so here are my components for the new improved uh, none or reduced thermal bridging design. First of all, we have uh, a miniature radiator um, which fits an 80 millimeter fan. This is the sort of thing that's used in uh, in CPU cooling. Um, sounds expensive, but it wasn't. Um, uh, it was, uh, I think, it was four pounds sixty-five. So what's that about seven US dollars? Um, next to it you'll see a fan, in fact this is a slightly too large fan as the other one hasn't arrived from China yet, the 80mm fan. Now down here you can see two essential components. First of all there's the, um, the cooling block. So what this is, is a little um, uh, water cooled block that fits on the back of the Peltier. Um, and then you can see a small um, aquarium or a CPU style pump there. Okay, um, and then I've got some 8mm internal diameter um, PVC tubing. Um, I've got a 50mm fan here, which is going to be fitted on the, um, uh, the hot heat sink, which is the, uh, the one I, I've just shown you, and that'll be on the outside of the device. Um, and then uh, I have a, uh, um, a cooling thermostat here. Um, this is a natty little device that um, promises to uh, control the temperature. It has a thermal probe here um, and you can set it up to, um, to turn the Peltier on only when it's uh, required. And uh, I've got here a, um, a plastic box that I'll just house that, uh, that device in. Okay, so some more components here. Um, I've cut a piece of, uh, this is um, uh, window board, um, PVC coated. Um, that's going to be used on the inside of the box to mount the components. Um, I've cut a piece of thin um, exterior ply. These are just scrap materials I had lying around. And uh, this is just to demonstrate how they're going to be fitted. This will be the side of the box, okay. Um, I'm going to drill four holes one in each corner and then I'm going to <coughs> use uh, cable ties in a fairly unconventional way. I'm going to feed them through the hole on one side and out the hole on the other side. Then I'm going to put the head of the cable tie on there and I'm going to pull it as tight as I can with a pair of pliers. So therefore I will have a firm mounting on each side and uh, I will also avoid um, using a metal um, thermal bridge between the, the hot and the cold sides. This is the, uh, the piece of PVC on the inside of the box. Um, just showing you now that I'm uh, marking where the holes need to be so I can drill those. So I'm just puncturing through like so. And then I'm going to get my, uh, my trusty hand to drill and uh, drill through like so. Here's just a close-up to show you how I uh, installed the, uh, the, s the miniature radiator on the, uh, the PVC plate inside. You can see I've uh, 
use Jubilee clips at the top and in fact I've used a piece of uh, PVC tubing as a spacer and then I've put uh, self-tapping screws through from the back and of course the uh, the fan when it arrives will mount on the uh, the front here and that whole assembly is fitted on the inside here's a close look at how I've now mounted the Peltier device which you can see in here in the middle with the two cables um, you can also see the uh, the cooling block there with the uh, the inlet and the outlet pipes and uh, you can see down the bottom the uh, the hot heat sink okay and uh, I've achieved a bit of thermal insulation by mounting it and squeezing it on with wood um, because of course those screws will heat up but they're just a uh, just a little air gap down the side so we have got um, a thermal break there one important point to note is that you must use thermal heat sink compound between uh, each of the surfaces so you've got in between the uh, the cooling block the Peltier and the Peltier and the uh, the hot heat sink in this shot you can see that I've uh, wrapped the Peltier with some um, waterproof plastic foam um, this is just to insulate it in the uh, the junction between hot and cold this is the sort of stuff that you get in packaging I received this recently um, to protect something I'd, uh, that arrived in the post um, the other thing I've done is I've uh, mounted a cooling fan on the bottom um, I've just simply uh, glued it on with double sided uh, um, sponge pads here but something uh, a bit more secure would be um, would be useful um, perhaps cable ties or something um, there's nowhere to screw it on this one but uh, that'll do for the moment anyway just to see if this works